<laughs> now the elementary school exams are so difficult? A sheep and an elephant fall from a height at the same time. Only one can be saved. Who will you choose to save? So this is a high IQ test. If you pass the test, you can enter a top school. These children have an IQ of over 150. Everyone is a genius, but they face a more difficult test paper. Even if a university professor were to answer the questions, they cannot guarantee that they are all right. Whether to save the sheep or the elephant, these geniuses don't know how to answer. This question is only one of the 100 questions. They had to answer all the questions in 60 minutes. It includes politics, economics and culture. And there were also some intelligence tests. A pig and a pig fight. Who will win in the end? All the other candidates found it very difficult. Only this boy was very calm. He wrote down the answer and the pig won. The test is over. One minute later, the teacher announced the promotion list, except for the boy. The rest of the candidates were all eliminated. The students were unhappy but not surprised, because every genius exam, acceptance rate is very low. The boy also only passed the first round. He came to the second round of the exam. The students in this classroom, all are geniuses who succeeded in the first round. The exam started. Students need 60 minutes to answer all the questions. At the beginning, the students were full of information, but they gave up after reading a few questions. Because the questions were too difficult, half an hour had passed. Many did not answer the questions. Some of them cried and gave up. Only the genius boy did not give up. Genius elementary school students are taking an exam. Nothing was written on the boy's paper. At this time, a black girl in front of him turned in the paper early and threw him a slip of paper. The note was full of answers. It turns out that before entering the examination room, the teacher only let the candidates bring a pencil. The girl accidentally dropped the pencil into the sewer on the way. This means that Blackie was eliminated before the test even started. Everyone was unwilling to help her. Only the boy didn't leave. At that time, there were only two minutes left before the test. The pen must not be taken out. So, the boy thought for only three seconds and came up with a solution. He broke his pen in half. It was this action that qualified the black girl for the exam. During the test, Black's sister gave her answers to the boy, but the boy did not read the answer. He kicked away the note and continued to study the test questions. Suddenly he thought of what the invigilator had just said. Look at the questions carefully before writing the answers. Finally, the boy found a secret. The answer to each question is hidden in the title of another question. Next, the boy kept flipping through the paper to write the answer. That's right. Right. This round is not a test of knowledge. It was a test of observation and thinking. At the last minute of the test, the boy submitted his test paper. Their group of candidates, still only the boy advanced. And there will be another test like this. With him to advance to the next level, there are four other geniuses. Which means, the winner of this exam is among them. This session of the entrance exam for top schools. There are only five candidates left. And the third round of the test is no longer a test question. They were taken to a room. There were three colors of tiles in the room. They were black, white and yellow. Candidates need to not step on the black and white squares. 10 minutes to reach the opposite end. The girl with an IQ of 150 thought for 10 seconds. Then she had an answer. She thought it was impossible to reach the finish line. The next second, the teacher praised her very good answer and told her she could go home. <laughs> Now there are four candidates left. They entered the examination room in turn. When they first entered, they didn't know how to get to the end. Soon, the students found a loophole in it. A boy crawled forward on the ground on his elbows and knees. It turns out that the rule says no stepping on the black and white square. Not that you can't crawl. This method may cause knee injury, but it worked in the end. Next was another student. His bouncing ability is very strong. The th third candidate was a girl who liked to use tools. She took out a rope and threw it hard, put it on the opposite door handle. Then she walked along the rope, successfully reached the finish line. The last one is a genius boy. He has no bouncing power and cannot walk the rope, but he was smart, walked straight through the grid. The boy stepped on the black and white grid, but was not eliminated. What is the reason for this? As soon as the boy entered the room, 
He noticed the squares on the floor are not the same length and width. That means the black and white squares leading to the finish line are rectangles. The school's rule is not to step on the black and white squares. The test of this level is to dare to try. For candidates past this level, the examiner took them forward from a tunnel to the ground, then entered a villa. This is the fourth round of the examination. The invigilator is actually the second round of exams encountered Black Sister. These four candidates all saw Blackie dropped her pencil into the sewer. It turned Turns out that as long as they didn't help Blackie, or accept Blackie's cheating, were eliminated in the second round. The rules of this level are very simple. Escape from the maze and climb to the top of the building and ring the bell. Only the top three candidates will be admitted to the school. Blackie said this level is very simple. The four candidates were taken to different rooms. The exam officially started. The four geniuses used various methods to escape the maze. The boys first found that there was a guide mark at the junction of each room. But there was no pattern up and down left and right. He remembered Blackie's last words. Close your eyes and you can get out of here. The boy touches it with his hand. Sure enough, the arrow was engraved with blind marks. He followed the guide and went straight ahead. This genius chose to remove the ventilation ducts. From here, he climbed to the top of the building. On the other side, Blackie also found a way. He has an amazing memory, using trial and error to map out the maze in his mind. This method is a bit slower, but you can definitely go out. Finally, the most powerful student. He used the easiest method tracking. He followed Blackie all the way. Blackie was concentrating on the maze and didn't notice the man behind him. When Blackie came out of the maze and was about to go upstairs, the boy directly rushed up and knocked Blackie down. He ran upstairs by himself. Blackie's foot was hurt and his painful voice was heard by another genius. The genius came back and took Blackie to the end of the maze with him. The boy and the other girl had been waiting for a long time. The boy was the first to ring the bell. And the girl seems to have discovered the secret. She was the first to arrive but did not ring the bell. When Blackie and Genius arrived, the three of them pulled the bell together. At that time, the invigilator announced the results. The last round of the exam, the boy was eliminated. The remaining three were accepted. The boy felt that he was the first to ring the bell. Should not be eliminated. But in the end he was taken away by the bearded man. The three geniuses finally passed all the tests. They were taken to the principal's office. A few minutes later, a little girl was brought in. She is also the passer of this test. She wasn't as smart as the others. But the way she answered every question was very strange. The questions she couldn't do were simply torn off the test paper. When the black girl deliberately dropped her pencil, she directly pulled open her clothes, revealing a bunch of pencils for Blackie to choose herself. Finally, she followed the invigilator directly. She came to the principal's office. The principal thought this girl was very smart, so she was admitted on an exceptional basis. It turns out that this is not a top school admissions test, but a super agent selection. The earth is about to be a disaster, and the mission to save the earth. It takes a few kids to complete, so these four talents talented children will be trained by the principal to become super agents to save the dying human race. Do well to watch it if you finds it interesting. Highly recommended.